It's a shame that today's transportation industry is so inefficient. You put gasoline in a vehicle, you burn it, and you only get about 25% of the energy out of that gasoline. The rest is just up in smoke, literally. Uh, we started with horse and buggy four-wheel technology over 100 years ago. And uh, now we've evolved that four-wheel technology into uh, big SUVs and sedans. The automotive landscape of today is far too concerned with risk and would never think about stepping you know, outside of the box to make a composite vehicle that's super lightweight and aerodynamic because it's so much different than what's available on the market today. When we first started the company and, and we're looking at the shape and going through MATLAB calculations of different vehicles and saying, well, what kind of vehicle could we use as a base vehicle? And we sort of asked ourselves a, a rhetorical question. What would it be like if you made the drag go to zero? In, in terms of the equation, why then your range would go way, way up. We see losses in heat, we see losses in friction, we see losses in aerodynamics and weight. Um, everything to us is an engineering challenge to make things more aerodynamic, lightweight, um, so they use, uh, use less energy. So then I asked the next question, I said, well, what does that shape look like? Surely there must be a shape that mathematically would equal zero uh, for drag, or close to it, close enough. And that's how we discovered um, this shape and began working with it and refining it. We think that energy should be used to turn your wheels. Uh, that starts with aerodynamics, because in a typical vehicle you use over 60% of your fuel just pushing the air out of the way at highway speeds. So if you could take that aerodynamic drag down to zero, you'd instantly get 60% better fuel economy. With Aptera, we did just that. More aerodynamics, lighter weight, efficient powertrain, gets you further with less energy. A thousand mile range vehicle seemed absolutely absurd. It was an insane claim, but it's, it's just, it's all science. It's all numbers, really. You can charge the Aptera with a regular 110 volt outlet, the same outlet that you charge your cell phone on. And overnight, you can get 150 miles of range. That's unlike any other vehicle out there. Uh, one of our best new design features is our never charge solar package. It allows you to charge over 40 miles a day free from the sun and allows for most daily driving needs to uh, never have to plug in to go anywhere. 40 miles you know, doesn't sound like a lot, but it's, it's the equivalent of parking your car and having it magically fill up with two gallons of gas overnight. It's the fact that you can park it at work or wherever and go back to it with more energy in the tank than when you left it. Freedom in the sense of being able to go, go long distances, go without having to think about it, go without having to worry about if it's charged or not have it charge itself without having to pay a dime to drive it every day. I mean, that's the kind of freedom I think a lot of a lot of people would love. You don't need super large charging infrastructure to keep your Aptera going on a large trip. When you stop at a roadside charger, you can charge for 10 minutes and realistically be back on the road, unlike other electric vehicles where you may have to stop for more than an hour. So the efficiency of Aptera really opens up a lot of possibilities for owners to use their vehicles in different ways than they currently do. We have a strong focus on composite technologies and uh, AI generative design because it lowers the overall weight of the vehicle while making it one of the strongest offerings on the road today. When you think about vehicle safety, you think about strength. You know, is this thing gonna protect me? Our composite monocoque chassis is built a lot like a Formula One vehicle and it's very strong. The structure surrounding you is going to be safer or stronger than virtually anything that's out there because the strength of the composites compared to steel, for example, is superior. We take passenger safety very seriously and it's one of our top priorities. The Aptera drastically lowers the materials needed to build your transportation device. These bodies, instead of having two or three hundred parts to the body, they have four parts to the main structure. And that makes it much easier to build, track, and assemble. The electric vehicle world of today is much more advanced than it was 10 years ago. We're leveraging every bit of new battery technology, drivetrain technology, composite technology that's available to make things more efficient for your transportation needs. Aptera is actually Greek for a wingless flight. People look at it, they tap to, for you to roll down the window and they want to ask you what it is. Amazed and shocked when they see the Aptera. It's not designed to get attention, it just gets attention because of what it is. You tell them how efficient it is and it just blows their mind. The first thing that's going to strike you as different is the integration of the solar cells into the body and the dash and other places, every square inch of where sunlight hits that vehicle um, in a way to harvest it 
uh, and uh, and make use of it without making it look like a you know some high school eco marathon project. Uh, when driving, uh, the vehicle dynamics are very stable. The acceleration is brisk. Uh, the one notable thing is it's very very quiet. Before I drove the Aptera, I had I had dreams about driving it, and and the first time I did, it was it was virtually as I imagined it would be. Aerodynamics comes with the benefit of being a lot quieter. You don't hear the, the wind buffeting noise at high speeds like you would in any other vehicle available today. The first feeling while driving it is the feeling of spaciousness because you think it's just a, a normal sized vehicle or maybe some people might even think that it's, it's smaller on the inside or a cram. But it felt like a football field you know, that I had between my elbow and the door. And I, I just had all of the space and it was comfortable. The all-wheel drive Aptera handles great in snow, ice, or in climate conditions. Uh, we have torque vectoring to each wheel uh, that dynamically responds within one thirty seconds of a revolution. So we can infinitely tweak the stability of the vehicle at any time and tackle almost any adverse condition you can imagine. And with all of this glass, I could see everything, and it was an amazing experience. The Aptera service network will be unique in that most of the time we'll come to you to fix your problems. But if you have an Aptera in a remote location where service agents might not be, uh, we will help you repair your vehicle on site. Uh, we'll ship you parts within 24 hours. We'll give you all the build and service information we have and really help facilitate you in keeping your vehicle on the road. We think this right to repair mindset can really help keep more Aptera on the road longer and make our customers happy. Hopefully my children will grow up in a world where they never have to put gasoline in a vehicle again. My son already knows how to put the charger into my electric vehicle. Uh, my daughter already knows what a battery is. I think ensuring that electric vehicles aren't sort of a compliance move by the OEMs or that they're not a thing that only rich people can afford with you know very expensive electric vehicles but ensuring that there's a mainstream path to make electric vehicles there for everyone is the legacy that we'd like to leave to our kids because that's the kind of world we want them to grow up in. I would say we're an audacious group that is really tackling the problems of energy efficiency in transportation. There's nothing more unique than Aptera, uh, a vehicle focused on efficiency solely over styling, and it's really the most efficient way to get from point A to point B. We started Aptera to build the best electric car in the world. I think a lot of people have latched onto Aptera because it's an amazing solution to a lot of today's energy use problems. Uh, and it's also just cool engineering. You're far less efficient on a bicycle uh, than you are in an Aptera. So next time you think of bicycling down to your local grocery store, uh, you might as well hop in the Aptera to make that same trip.